quotes have like broke up and shit. Like how Godless created this server, and now people come over here. I left when they kept fucking uh, muting Shameless and Concrete. That's when I'm like, ah, fuck this shit. Yeah, like uh, back in the day, they used to always pretend that they were fair. And they used to mod abuse me. This is why Tomer said they used to abuse me a lot. Like, uh, Tomer, he would try to use me to troll me for entertainment value. And his goal was to always make me sound stupid. So if I, if I was really interested in uh, when I tried to talk about it, he would obfuscate the conversation by bringing up tedious little things and try to force me to address them. Right. This is what Alex kind of picked up the other day. He's like, man, I'm trying to talk to you about something. You keep bringing up irrelevant shit to try to argue with me about. He's picking up on the same behavior. But that's what he would do. He would try to obfuscate my conversations and almost make it impossible for me to have a conversation with anybody. And trying to make me look stupid for entertainment value and all that shit. But eventually I started learning more and more about the ideas. And he clearly just did, did not have the same interest. So he wasn't really evolving in his thinking at all. So eventually, I just left him in the dust completely to the point where he cannot get no, he can't get any satisfaction with talking to me now. He can't make me sound stupid. And in fact, now I just make him look like a fucking retard because I know a lot more about the shit I talk about than he does. Like, he don't know shit about pragmatism, barely knows anything about postmodernism, shit like that. So, like, he'll go into, like, his little bullshit interrogation. He'll try to interrogate me and it just doesn't work out very well. He'll get pissed. He'll just mute me. And he used to do that to a lot of people. Um, Tom going after Tasteless, John John, and Dionysus. I think it all stemmed from them, like, making, uh, hurting Tom's feelings really bad about his personal life. And then Tom just held on the resentment, onto that resentment for years. And, um, attacked them, like, abuse, wanted to abuse them for years. Uh, I think it was the comment, I remember it, I think it was something about Tom dying alone that John John said. And you could hear like Tom's voice breaking up, kind of like he, kind of like he was about to tear up when John John was doing it, and that he kicked Tom, Tom or John John from Krillism. And then ever since that, he didn't ban him; he just like kicked him. John John came back the next day, but ever since that, that's when he made John John a target. Yeah, no, like he deserved the rhetoric I threw at him. Like he just pissed me off so much with the bullshit that everyone has pointed out that eventually I would, because like I said, he talks shit about Dio. He'll be little tasteless. He'll be little me. He'll basically tell us what retards he'd, he'd say. And I quote, y'all are worthless. He would always try to clarify. I oh, I'm not meaning you're really worthless. I'm just saying you're worthless to the room. You're worthless to the community. You had no content, this and that. But, he bullied, uh, uh, Johnny too. But yeah, so, I mean, I got so fed up, and a lot of people did get, would get so fed up of Tomer oh my fucking acting God, like John he's John. better than you, right? Acting Bro, like he's better than you, so belittling much. you. What do you fucking say? So, I mean, so much? one of the right responses was to just point out his personal life. Like, this dude's a loser. Like, he that's fucking an sucks. Attack, John, so, he, he could stop acting Hello. like he's better than everyone Hello, else. Oh, that's a fallacy, John. What? But, yeah, like, in other words, he, he clearly had it coming, right? Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm glad it hurts feelings. Hold on, let's deal with this dumb shit y'all just said. So y'all said that someone having a personal opinion about someone's character or behavior is a mistake in reasoning, a.k.a. <laughs> a fallacy. Do you, do you understand how dumb that is, uh, y'all? I think Jarl's just fucking around. Oh, okay. Yeah, Jarl's is a troll, dude. He's a well-known troll. Don't take him serious, but... Oh, okay, my bad. Yeah, Please continue. But what, what follows from a personal attack, though? What is a summation of his? Is a summation of his thoughts and observations about this particular individual? Now, now you call it a personal attack, but that's just the way he feels about this guy after his interactions. Oh, yeah, like God. one of the main God. things. What's funny is Tom would always talk shit and belittle me, and like would always act like he's better than me in some sense, like just because of how, how he would try to shit on me all the time. And now, like, I, I got a job, and, like, I got my shit together, for lack of better words. And that was just, like, a really big kick in the face for Tomer. Like, for someone oh, like I me to get my that. shit yeah, together. Yeah, I bet he was really upset about that.
Yeah, because Tom are endless. I, I can't ima I can't even like predict or imagine how many times Tomer has b belittled me in the sense that he'll never get off his ass. He's he used to say causally inert. That's what he used to call me. Like I can't do anything. I can't even wipe my own ass or some like he would just act like that. And, oh, yeah, uh, and he used to make fun of your teeth, and now you got all your dental, cosmetic dental work done? Yeah, like, as soon as I got my job, and as soon as I started bettering myself a little bit, Dionysus picked up on what we just mentioned and would just rub it in Tom's face every chance he got. He would, he would oh, go around God, saying hilarious. things like, yeah, he would, he would say, Tomer, it's, you're so cynical. I can tell. He's like, John John's getting his shit together, and you're so cynical about it. Like, clearly, you only take pleasure in the misery of others. You don't give a shit about him bettering himself, all this shit. Like, Dionysus was trying to make it a point that Tomer really, really gets off in the misery of others. And the fact that I got my shit together actually pisses him off. In some sense. Tom's good at um, getting people to target a specific person, though, like rallying people against them to, like, mock that person. Because I remember being sucked into it myself a lot with Dionysus and john john like just joining the crowd and attacking them like i would just do it naturally when i didn't really have the desire to do it though it was weird i think the most beautiful aspect of it all was when i became a in late 2016 when i discovered jordan peterson and became a huge fan of jordan since tom hated me so much he would he would always try to shit on jordan he crafted this anti-jordan peterson narrative and any time I came in the room, he'd try his best to shit on Jordan because I showed so much interest in it. Like I said, if I was interested in something, Tomer wanted to obfuscate that whole endeavor. But uh, so they, he crafted an entire anti-Jordan Peterson narrative. And what happened was it kind of backfired on him because what happened is every time I would come into the room, I, I was able to talk about Jordan Peterson, like the only thing I would want to talk about anyway, because he was so caught up in trying to shit, shit on Jordan Peterson. And they all sucked at it. So in other words, it would just be great for me. I would be able to educate people on Jordan and his views and shit. So that just kind of just like, you know, backfired on Tomer. And I thought that was fucking amazing. Because like it was coming from such a sinister place. Like, for example, Tomer did not care what Jordan's views were. He didn't really care about Jordan that much. But he knew that I liked Jordan. So he needed to dismiss Jordan any chance he got when I was around. So it Tell was... Him to fuck off. Yeah, he was trying to do something pretty sinister, but it actually worked out in my favor. Oh, my God. Yo, John John. Stop Tom. that gay shit, fucker! Yeah, uh, yeah, Get stop it. that gay shit. Uh, fuck off, you homophobes. That's no, disgusting. it's disgusting. Yeah. It's no, great. Oh, it's see, it's uh, 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 fuck off, yeah, you guys are homophobes. I'm I'm you scared little, you, little, you, little, you little sensitive snowflakes can't it's handle a little bit yo. of homo expression. Oh, I'm so sorry. John John, do you like yeah. that shit? John oh. John, do you like men fucking kissing at you? Nah, nah that's that gay shit. Okay, yeah. great. So, oh, yeah. Oh, shit. So, it's so tough. There we go. That's three. Charles How about gay. That? You know, these, that, these that? younger people, they're, they're confused about gender and stuff, man. It's, it's really sick. Yeah, so now right. we know it's unwanted. So any more kisses towards John John would just be like real cringy so and rapey. So you guys want the right to say the f word and the n word, but you can't. Oh, so kiss he, so John John, has, so John John has to accept oh, kisses from babies. a babies. So John John this has to accept kisses from a man. This is the right. page.